everybody. I will be on in just a moment. Uh, in the meantime, we got to play with Jimbo. But also, please let me know how I sound. Uh, I was not able to test out the audio at all before this. Usually, I can test it a little bit beforehand. Uh, but I did not have uh, the ability to do, do that. So, let me know how it sounds. And let me know how Jimbo sounds. You want to say hi, Jimbo? Oh, now you want to shut up. Okay. Well, let's go play with Jimbo. You can watch.
Let's give it up for the great and powerful Jimbo the Cat. Yay! Wow! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, let's get rocking and a rolling. Okay, Jimbo, yeah, you can join. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. We have a very special and, you know, a little bit different stream for us today that I think you guys will like, especially if you have been coming to the live streams a lot because the tree is finally done. And you might know what that means, but if you don't, don't worry. I'll explain it in just a sec. Hi, everybody. Welcome to season two. It's season two of Club Crochet's seasonal kits. I don't really know what to call it yet. I feel like it needs like a name, you know, like something, but I don't know. But it is season two is starting today, uh, which means that we're going to be spending the next three months making a whole bunch, a whole bunch of under the sea ocean critters. I'm very, very excited to talk about it. Today we're going to be looking at the kit. We're gonna be uh, looking at all the different stuff that's in it, talking about a few different projects that we're gonna be working on. Um, obviously there are quite a lot of mystery projects this season, so I won't be able to talk about everything today, but we'll be talking about a good amount of it. We'll look, uh, we'll fix the new tree so we'll set up our whole new backdrop, which I'm actually really, really excited to show you what my dad finished making for the backdrop. And then um, we will crochet our, uh, we'll crochet a whale today because we have a whole brand new pattern out on the website now. I need to turn this volume down. It is so loud to me. There we go. Just distracting, just distracting. Okay, wait, and then I can turn it up just a little bit there. There we go. Um, as we go through this, by the way, if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments or in the chat today because I will be more than happy to explain anything about the uh, about the seasonal kits, what crochet patterns we're going to be making, uh, any kind of info, annual passes, blah, blah, blah. This is your chance. Ask me any questions you might have. For example, Gemma asks, do we ship to Mex Mexico? We absolutely do ship to Mexico. So if you'd like to get a seasonal crochet kit and you're international, uh, you can get it. It goes, they ship everywhere. Um, okay, so uh, you're very welcome, Samantha. Hello, Samantha. Hello, chat in general. Hi, everybody. So today, let's start by looking at our new Under the Sea kit. Um, talk about all the ways you can help support this channel. And then uh, we'll uh mess with the new tree and then we'll crochet our brand new whale brand new pattern out today um it's early access for membership accounts but it will be a free pattern eventually um once i finish all the rest of the whales and you'll get what i mean after in just a bit okay so first off let's talk about this kit so this is my brand new seasonal crochet kit uh if you've been sticking around for a while you'll know we did one uh, last season of four plants. This season we're doing under the sea and let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and look at what we got in store for this season. So the first thing you're gonna see here is our beautiful little pin and our crochet hook and our needles. So if you were to order this with a crochet hook and needles, it comes with these fun little guys here. I love this crochet hook for this yarn specifically. Um, it is a really good, it's got like a really sharp uh, tip to it, which is really nice for the yarn, but we'll talk about that in a second. So obviously it comes with that. It comes with a pin if you get an annual pass or you had pre-ordered the kit. So if you pre-ordered it, it came with a pin, but it also comes if you get an annual pass so you can still get it with the pin. An annual pass also gives you a big discount on the kit, by the way. Okay, so let's look at all the yarn that we're gonna be using this season. So this season's kind of a little different because we're going to be doing, um, I don't know if we ship to Nigeria. I would assume we do ship to Nigeria as Zay Burger. Um, uh, I, I haven't had any trouble shipping anywhere yet. So um, yeah, you can email me if you want, uh, want me to look into that in detail and make certain, but I'm pretty confident we can ship to Nigeria. Um, okay, so this kit's gonna be a little bit different in that all the colors, other than the black and the white and the yellow here, these are meant to be interchangeable. So you can make your patterns out of any of these four colors. Um, the idea is that, you know, I wanted this time to be like kind of a choose your own adventure for how you crochet your patterns. 
So what we did instead of doing a lot, like six big projects, is we're doing 14 projects that are somewhat small. They're not really small. Some are a little bit bigger than others, but the idea being that you can use any of these colors for your different projects. So we'll be using pink. You're gonna love this pink, by the way. Look at how, this is I think my favorite color in all of our our new Amigurumi cotton yarn because it is just, it just looks so cute. And I just really like the color pink in general. It's my, I think it may be one of my favorite colors actually. But my absolute favorite color is purple. So it kind of does make sense that pink is one of my favorites if I really like purple. So we got pink, purple, teal. I wanted to give teal a shot in this kit um, because I just thought it it had a good ring for under the sea critters. I was thinking about doing gray instead of teal, but I wanted it to be a little bit more colorful. So I went with teal uh, for this kit. Um, and I hope you guys like that. Uh, it's also really good for crocheting orcs. So if you wanna make an orc, you totally can. And then cyan, which I feel like was a necessity for this kit because it's just beautiful and perfect for under the sea critters. So those are our four colors that we're gonna be using. The other two colors are black and white. Now these ones are used for specific patterns in the season. So we're gonna be making um, like orcas and beluga whales, which are going to be using a lot of white and black yarn. Um, the black is going to be used a lot for one of our other patterns um, for an angler fish, but I'll talk about that in just a second as well. But the other cool thing about these is that they're great for making hats. And this season, so we have like three or four, I think four hats on the website right now, miniature hats for your Amigurumi. I want to add a decent amount more of hats to use this yarn up a little bit more as well. So if you have any ideas for hats, let me know in the chat. Um, I do have a few ideas for other hats that I want to add to this season, but I'm very curious to see what your ideas are as well. So those are the colors that we're going to be, uh, that are going to be in this kit. Now, each one of these balls are pretty big. They should be they should make a lot of different critters. Um, so like I said, there are 14 different patterns in projects in this season, and I've already made the 14, and I still have a lot of yarn left over. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to make probably at least 20 different critters um, with this one. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, what's really cool about this yarn, by the way, is it's worsted weight. So here, actually, let me show you what this is. So. So it's worsted weight cotton yarn, which is, as I've said before, one of my favorite kinds of yarn to use. But what's even better, what's even cooler about it is that it is multiply fibers. So what is that? That means that, so most cotton yarns are gonna be a four ply yarn, which means that there's four strands. Let's see if I can get this focused, there we go. That, which means there's four strands woven together and twisted together to make your piece. But what's special about our Club Crochet yarn is that it's multi-fiber strands, which means that every one of those four strands that are used to make your yarn are each in themselves consistent of other strands of yarn. So they're consistent of six ply strands. So you can see it really threads out into a lot of different strands. Why that's important um, is because, well, for a bunch of different reasons. The first one, which is kind of obvious, is that it makes your yarn very vibrant. It's very, uh, it holds the color really well, so it makes it really vibrant. It also makes the yarn incredibly strong. You cannot break this yarn, which makes it really nice for crocheting Amigurumi, especially when you're doing like magic loops, you can pull it really tight and not have to worry about it breaking. But the best part about this yarn is that it means that it is split resistant, which means that it's going to be very difficult for you to accidentally split your yarn while you crochet your piece. Very useful for beginners and very useful just in general for crocheting. That also means that it makes your stitches extremely um, clear. You can see where your stitches are very, very um, visibly, which I think is really cool. So I really, really like this yarn. I'm very, very proud of it. Um, so I hope you guys like it as well. Uh, we've gotten a lot of good feedback on the yarn, so thank you all for your feedback. If you did purchase a kit, by the way, and you would like to leave a review, it would go a long way. That would be really, really cool. Um, if you want to check out this kit, by the way, uh, I put links in the description uh, as well as ways so you can find all the different patterns we're going to be making this season. I built a special web page for it that I'm really proud of. Maybe we'll show that too in a second because I'm just so proud of the web page. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about that a little later. And then the last color we need is yellow. Now this this is about half of this yarn is going to be used for one of our projects specifically. But I found out that the rest of the yarn can be used for 
a few other projects that we're making this season. So I would say if you have this kit, save this yarn for your angler fish, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, and then after you're done with your angler fish, you should have uh, leftovers for other different um, projects, which we'll look at later on in the season. So there's your one caveat is I would not use all this if you can avoid it. Save some of that. Okay, other than the yarn, obviously we got a whole bunch of other little stuff in here too. We've got oh, some extra black thread. This season we actually don't need too much of the black thread. We'll be using it for a few different patterns, but we definitely won't need this much black thread. One of the things with these seasonal kits that I really wanted to do was provide additional materials other than the materials that you actually need for the kit so that you can kind of restock your your materials. So it's kind of like the idea of these seasonal crochet kits, especially when you're getting an annual pass, is that you're restocking your, your inventory every three months so that you should consistently have all the inventory you need to make whatever kind of projects you want, including what's in the kit. So for this kit, I added some extra black thread so that you can restock your inventory because we actually used all of it in the last season, which I was pretty surprised about. Um, so black, extra black thread if you want some of that. It comes with safety eyes. I included both six millimeter and eight millimeter safety eyes in this uh, kit. I found that I've been using a lot more of the six millimeter than I have eight millimeter. There's 10 of each. Um, but just heads up, you might end up using a little bit more of your six millimeter than your eight millimeter. So if you want to try using your eight millimeter for different projects that you haven't done before, that, that might be a good idea, but you probably will have a little extra of your eight millimeter eyes from this kit as well. Okay. Other than the eyes, the special materials in this kit, we do have, I try to add a little bit of special materials in each one of our kits and this kit special materials are going to be these keychains here, which we're gonna to use to obviously add keychains to our different Amigurumi. I'm very excited to show you all the different things that we're gonna be making, and you'll notice really quickly that pretty much everything could be made into keychains. I actually think it'd be really cool to make this kit into a baby mobile as well, so I'm thinking about that. I don't have a baby, but I probably will one day, so making a baby mobile with all these under the sea things, it just kind of makes sense to me. So I'm excited to see what we do there. Uh, and then the last special material that we have in this kit is our pipe cleaners. You do not need as many pipe cleaners, again, as I included in this kit. I just wanted to include, it ex include extras just in case. You'll need, I think, four pipe cleaners for this kit, but it comes with 10. So you have extras. The idea that I had for this kit, by the way, is so whenever I wanted to do these seasonal crochet kits, I wanted to include extra materials just in case I wanted to make something completely random in the middle of the season. Cause you know how I am. I get creative, I get weird ideas. So I wanted to give myself some wiggle room. And one of the ideas I originally had, which now I don't think I'm gonna be doing uh, because, well, because of something, because we have a lot of different patterns in this kit, including ones that I have for collaboration patterns, which again, we'll talk about in a second. But one of the ideas I had was I wanted to do a giant octopus to go with your little mini octopi. Um, but uh, I kind of decided, eh, let's just save these pipe cleaners for a different project instead. So you have a bunch of extra pipe cleaners as well. And then of course it comes with all the stuffing that you need for the season. Um, it looks like there's not a lot of stuffing here, but that's because it is air sealed. It is super tight and air sealed. Okay. The last cool thing about these kits that I really wanted to share, which I feel like I didn't explain enough uh, in season one, is that each of these seasonal crochet kits come in this awesome box, which is actually also a yarn holder. I designed these boxes so that you can use them both as a yarn holder and as you know a, a, a home for all your projects. So I thought what we could do today is actually create this kit into a yarn holder. And to do that, all you need to do is there's gonna be a little part here. You can kind of see the arrow here where it points where the yarn holder is. And then there's one right here. We're gonna rip both of these off and it'll turn this whole box into a yarn holder. I, I love doing this. It's just really cool, especially this bottom one because it just rips off so satisfying. So ready? Oh, it just feels like I just cracked my whole back or something. <laughs> I think that's, I, I don't know. I think it's really cool. Um, okay. So yeah, so you rip that part off first and then you rip this part off up here. It should rip off very cleanly. There we go. 
And then now what you do is we'll place yarn into the box here. Let me do an example. We'll do it with this white yarn here. You place yarn into the box and you place the yarn over the hole here. And then you close the box over the yarn like this. And then now you have a yarn holder and the yarn can be pulled out of the box and not get tangled with all your other yarn. So it's kind of just a nice little extra perk. I've also found that this is really cool because you can you can put your scissors in here. If, if you have tiny scissors like I do, you can put scissors in there, it holds scissors really well. And then something I've been doing for my own is I've been poking holes right here next to the scissors so I could put a darning needle in it so that all my stuff is like ready to go um, and I can just keep it all together. I just think that's like a really cool accident that I didn't mean for that design to happen, but it is pretty dope. Like, I think it's way cool. Um, okay, so that is all of the stuff in this seasonal crochet kit. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together a little bit really quick, and then we're going to move. We're gonna change directions here. We're gonna change energies, and we're going to look at something really cool that my dad made for us. Uh, and fix our background for a bit. Um, if you have any questions about the seasonal crochet kit, obviously now is your chance, let me know. Um, can it come with chunky yarn with big eyes? Ooh, very good question. I do have ideas in the future. So I have our first four seasons planned uh, right now, including um, we're going to be doing holidays next season and then we'll be doing um, sweets the season after. And then I have the seasons a few seasons after that already planned, but I do want to start doing um, different kinds of crochet kits with chunky yarn and stuff as well. So that is in the plan. Uh, people like the box dope. I'm super glad you like it. I'm very, very proud of it. Uh, and yeah, I just think it's way cool. Uh, Tina, hey, how you doing, Tina? Uh, da, 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 da. Rita is making an unrelated long-necked dinosaur right now. You know what's actually kind of cool about this kit, Rita, is that it actually comes with a club crochet membership as well. It comes with three months of membership, which then gives you access to my entire library of patterns. And I tell you what alternative patterns you can make in the library with all the materials that you have in this kit. And one of the material, one of the alternative patterns you can make with this kit is actually one of our brontosaurus, long-necked dinosaurs. So it's kind of cool. You can actually make one of the dinosaurs with this kit as well, as well as a bunch of different stuff, mini dragons and a bunch of stuff like that. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. So people are excited to see the mythical tree. Yes. Let's get that out of here. All right. So. Over the past, um, what, this whole year basically, the plan was, actually let's switch to the background really quick, just to look at the trip cam. We're gonna talk about this in a second. The plan here was we were gonna have all these little critters in a tree that's gonna be a beautiful, gorgeous tree here. And I wanted my dad to make a metal tree because all these have little magnets on their butts so that they can perch on anything metal. So I wanted to do a magnetic tree that we could put them all together with. Well, my dad finally finished. Thank you, dad. Um, my dad, by the way, I don't know if he's in the chat, but he goes by 4M Metalworks and he does sell his work online. So if you're interested in getting more of it, check it out. But let's look at the tree. We're gonna do this on camera, but just as you, so you can see it kinda here, cause it, it almost doesn't fit in the, in the light box, but we will be looking at it in the light box in just a second. But you can see it's gigantinormous. It's this awesome, he, you know what? Let's just switch cameras. Let's look at it on the main. We're gonna put it there in the background soon, but here it is in all its glory. It's very large, as you can see, it barely fits in camera. Let's see, can I actually zoom this out? That'll work. And all these little bits here are gonna have little crocheted pieces on it. It's obviously all metal. He painted it as well. And it's awesome. Basically what he did was he wound up like a bunch of bars of metal in a circle and then added, tacked on other little pieces of metal. I'm just really proud of him. I think it's way, way cool. And I'm excited to add it to the background. So let's just go ahead and start adding all of our stuff from our background onto the tree. And if you have done any tips, 
In the past, you might see one of your crocheted pieces being added to the tree. Go ahead and give it a shout out and let us know what its name is. Um, and this is your last chance. If you want to add anything to this tree, tip now. Um, any kind, any amount of tip will add something to the tree today because next week, we're gonna be doing something completely different. We're gonna have the tree in the background, but I've got a different plan for additional tips going on uh, within the rest of the season. So. If you want to add anything to the tree, tip now or forever hold your peace. Oh, Julie, right off the bat. I think we're going to start with the new tips and then we'll add those tips in later. So, Julie, thank you so, so much. Let's add something to the tree. This is going to be our first addition to the tree for Julie. And I feel like, yeah, Jimbo, hi. Hello. Jimbo's here to say hi. Yes, hello. I think we should start with the dragon, Jimbo. I think we should start with the dragon. So we're gonna add this to the tree for Julie. And let's start, we're gonna have to start in the depths of the tree because they are going to get, there's gonna be a lot. So we're gonna start with our dragon right here in the center. So thank you so much for your support, Julie. And oh, Cooper, one last one. Thank you so much, Cooper. Let's add something for Cooper. Yes, I know. We're running out of little critters here. Oh, I know. I actually, I don't know if we added this. Does this have a magnet? Yeah, it does. We'll add this one for you, Cooper, because I've been actually kind of trying to save this one uh, specifically. And I know it's another red one, but it's just so cute. I can't help it. This is a little demon that I made a long time ago, and he's got like a little open mouth. And it's kind of worked off of these dragon patterns, but I just thought it was really cool. So we'll add this to the tree for you, Coop. Go ahead and add him right there. We've got Oodles and, what, Oodles and Caboodles? Thank you so much for your support, Oodles and Caboodles. Yes, I know, Oodles and Caboodles support, isn't that great? It's great! Okay, thanks. Uh, let's go ahead, let's add, let's see, does this kitty cat have a magnet? It does have a magnet, perfect. We'll add this kitty cat for you, Oodles and Caboodles. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. I think we'll do, let's do the kitten. I was thinking upside down, but maybe we won't do that because he's kind of fragile. Let's go right here in this little branch. Okay, now let's start adding all the stuff from the background. And I'll just start pulling them in one by one. Actually, we should probably start with the bigger pieces because those are gonna be a little harder to find spaces for. So I'm just gonna start adding our different pieces in. I'm sorry, Mr. Kitty. Actually, let's do let's stuff our cat in a little bit more. So we've got our different burbs. I think those are probably a good one to get onto the tree first because they do take up a pretty good amount of space. So we'll add this little um, cockatiel or cockatoo. Let's put this guy kind of higher up, like right up there. And we've got our humming burb. This is gonna be, we, we have got I don't know if it's all gonna fit. <laughs> we got a lot to fit in here. Okay, a few more burbs. Oh, this one's perfect for this season too. Our captain, Captain, uh, I can't remember what his name was, but our seagull captain. And our little owl here. Miss Weasel, thank you for your support. Let's add something for Miss Weasel. Super appreciated. Uh, let's add another little dragon. This time it's gonna be blue because Miss Weasel's icon is blue. We'll add a little dragon right here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to start doing it upside down eventually, which is gonna be kind of fun. Okay, we've got our reindeer. We'll add right here. I'm sure we'll get back to our reindeer later on in the season two another golden dragon. I don't remember who that's for, but I remember there's someone that got a golden dragon. Let's go with, do we have any more burb? Oh yes, let's do a rainbow burb. I think this was our first one we added back into the background and it's from, uh, I think it was from a normal gecko. So thanks to a normal gecko for our rainbow burb. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So he's kind of facing up. We've got our panda bear. I don't know how the heck we're gonna fit all these in here. I really don't. I really don't. 
because we still have so many more to fit. These are from last live stream. We have a little cow and a, I think these are from last live stream. We have a cow here. I'm going to do, I'm going to use an egg an extra magnet on the bottom of our cow so that our cow can hang on upside down right here. And we've got our adorable pug. Now the pug is one of my favorites, so we're gonna put him pretty close up. Another little demon. Let's add our demon upside down right here. We've got our little piglet. We gotta start filling this tree up here. And a another dragon. This guy, this is getting filled up. Oh, look at that. Our gub gub wants to be upside down. Okay. Let's see, we've got a moose. Very cool. We'll add our moose right here. A giant crow. We'll add our crow kind of on the end here because he's got a really strong magnet. And then an adorable elephant. Oops, which we can add right. And eh, we should put him upright. Let's go right. Uh, go let's go right here on the end he does not sit up very well we'll have to use an extra magnet for his butt oh he wants to be upside down all right elephant wants to be upside down you you can do that i give you permission to go upside down mr elephant Oh, Tom! Thank you, Tom! We'll add something to background for Tom. We got our adorable beaver here. Add our beaver right there. Really close up. And we got a... Uh-oh. I think we got a cat here, but I don't know if it has a magnet in it. Oh, it does. It does. It's just a very weak magnet. Okay, so we need some extra magnets. Does it have a magnet? Actually, I don't think this cat has a magnet. So we're gonna add something in place of this. Actually, we can just shove him in here. I think he can stay. Cats can hold on. We're gonna put that cat right here in between those two so they can hold on to him. A, an adorable green dragon, a little mouse, and then let's add something for Cooper. Actually, let's add a burb. I mean, not Cooper, sorry. This is for you, Tom. Uh, a very skeptical burb that's like, I don't know about this tree. We're gonna put him right here. Oh my God, that's really, that's, there's a lot. Okay, we're almost, we're almost done though. We've got left a, we're gonna have to replace this one, I think, but actually, you know what? We can get Ganon in here. I think Ganon, because Ganon's got a little finger puppet addition, I think we might actually be able to just stick him on the end of one of those, which is, <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> that's, that's super funny. A cow, our awesome toucan. Let's see, where can, let's put our toucan right here because toucan. Oh no, our cat. Hang on tight. A rhino. And I think we only have a couple more. There we go. I knew we had a few in the back. They had fallen down the back. We've got a bunny. Right on the end here. And another mouse. We're going to put the mouse upside down right here. And then the last few things that I think we need to add. Well, first off, let's get this out of the way. These awesome things. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. The last things I want to add these oh wait there's a rainbow i forgot there's a few more over here a rainbow piglet that someone supported with a little bit ago so we can put them right there Whew. okay the last bits i want to add are these pom-poms these extra additions that we had throughout the season 
Um, and I think all I want to do for the pom-poms is basically put a needle into it like that and then use the needle to magnetically attach to the tree so it's like this. I think that's I think that's our best option for getting these onto the tree. Oh boy. There we go. A few more of these. One's gonna go right in there. We're almost done, by the way. Sorry this is taking so long. There's a lot of things to add here. So we'll go like that. So the idea is that we can use the magnets from the other pieces to hold on to the pom-poms. Originally, I was going to crochet around all these bits, but I just thought it looked so cool that I didn't really want to. Like, it doesn't have a magnet. One of those. Yeah, they're, they're pretty strongly magnetically attached. Okay, just a couple more of these. And we'll transfer it to the background and hope and pray that it all stays on. Now I might add more to this. Looks like we do have a few spaces available. So I might add more to this throughout the seasons. But for now, I think this is what we got to work with. And I'll show you what we're gonna be making later. Okay, wowza. All right, we're gonna very carefully transfer this to the background now. Uh, let's switch it to the cam. Let's switch the cam. And wish me luck, here we go. Really slowly. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's pretty great. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Oh my god, that looks so cool. That is so dope. <laughs> Oh my God, Jules is gonna think that's so cool. I'm so excited to show her. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, we will add more stuff to this tree because that's just too cool not to add things to. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with that. That's awesome. Okay, so next, uh, if you wanna add anything left to that tree, tip today and I'll add other things to it. But next, we're gonna start doing Starting in, here, let's switch cameras again. Okay, for season two, I wanna do something a little bit different. Let's zoom this in a little bit. Uh, because we're doing all um, under the water creatures, I have, we're gonna look at all the patterns that we're gonna be making throughout this season in a second. But as you can probably imagine, we have a lot of ocean critters. And I thought what would be kind of fun is filling up a fishbowl. So we're gonna start filling up a fishbowl one critter at a time. And when this fishbowl, if slash when this fishbowl is filled up, we're gonna do a really big giveaway. So I'm thinking maybe a seasonal kit or a, a year long membership, something like that. So we're gonna start filling this fishbowl up one piece by one piece starting next episode and hopefully we can fill this thing up. I've got a lot of little critters to add to this, so I'm very excited. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and let's let's just add this to the background now. Will it fit right here? That's perfect, yes. Or should we go over here? No, let's do it, let's do it more in the center, like right here. So if you wanna add to the fishbowl, come next live stream. We're gonna be live next Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and that's when we'll start adding to the fishbowl. Okie dokie. The next thing I wanna do is look at a few of our different patterns that we're gonna be making this season and then actually crocheting one. Uh, so I'm excited to do that. Let's go ahead and look at all the different, a few of the different projects that we're gonna be making this season. 
uh, and explain how the projects kind of work in the season. Um, so, oh, hey, Dad. My dad's in the chat. Dad, check out how cool the tree is. Look at it. It's perfect. Does that not look perfect? Oh, my God. It's so cool. So if you want to find more of my dad's work, you can find it at, um, at I think it's 4mmetalworks.com. He's also on Etsy. Uh, he sells a bunch of different metal uh, work stuff and I know laser cutting stuff and stuff like that it's way way cool uh, 4mmetalworks.com I think he's also uh, just uh, on Etsy dad if you want to um, well actually you can't post a link unfortunately I don't know how to do that but anyhow let's look at all the different projects we're going to be making this season what do you think about that Timbo okay good glad you agree okay so the first thing we're going to be doing this season is crocheting a whole bunch of whales. So let's look at the brand new pattern that's out now for a beginner whale pattern. This was actually, this pattern actually does mean a lot to me. This was the first, one of the first patterns I ever designed for Amigurumi. I designed this over 15 years ago um, in high school. I designed a little whale and I just love it. Like it's, it's very, very, very simple, obviously, um, but it does, you know, teach you how to crochet. So just like how I wanted to do with every seasonal crochet kit, um, actually, maybe I should explain how the seasonal crochet kit projects work first, huh, Jimbo? You're eating, okay, that is not edible, but you do you, bud. Um, <laughs> so in the seasonal crochet kits, Every season, I want at least one pattern that is completely beginner friendly, that is designed just for, so that you can learn how to crochet. So you can get these kits and uh, and actually make a, um, like learn how to crochet as well. Um, I'm not tired, Samantha, I'm actually doing pretty good. Um, anyhow, uh, so this season for our beginner kit, I wanted to try to do, or for a complete beginner pattern, I wanted to come back and look at my beginner whale pattern because I just thought it was really cool but I made it you know how I do I made it a little bit more um, advanced so we're gonna be doing a little preview right now because technically these patterns are not gonna be out like we're gonna be coming out with a new whale pattern every week for the next uh, for this entire month there's gonna be a new kind of whale coming out every week and each whale is going to add just a little bit more difficulty to your crochet so that you can learn a whole new technique for different whales and uh, just kind of like make it make, get yourself a little bit more advanced to kind of prepare yourself for the rest of the patterns in the season. So I'm going to show you in this live stream, but you know, don't go spreading the word around because these are going to be released every week. So it's kind of a surprise, but it's also not. If you want to get these whale patterns, by the way, you can just find them at clubcrochet.com slash whale, or you can go to uh, the homepage for your season two patterns. The links are in the description or what Cooper just put. It's just at clubcrochet.com slash under the sea. I put a link right there. That's where you can find all the patterns that I'm going to be discussing. Now in the season, well, actually we'll talk about how the patterns work in the season in just a second but let's look at all the whales that we're going to be making so we got our classic whale regular old classic whale i also have a secondary classic whale that has a the perfect stripe method so i could show the difference between the perfect stripes you can kind of see right there that's just like this is not a different whale i don't count this as a different whale it's just i just want to show a different kind of whale there um but it's pink and then we'll be making hold on bud i gotta grab them all Okay, so next week we're gonna add another whale to this, which is going to be the beluga whale. Like I said in the beginning there, you can kind of see, oh, Sarah, I, I've i been definitely thinking about that. Let me answer that question in just a second. But in this beluga whale, we're gonna be use, learning how to use increasing and decreasing to create shaping in your amigurumi. So you can kind of see how it's got a bit of a different shape of a head. That's because we're gonna be using increasing and decreasing. So the idea with this pattern, not only do you just get to make another cute whale, but you learn how to use increasing and decreasing this one. So that one's pretty cool. Um, uh, Sarah asks, have you ever thought about doing a fishing rod with magnets and a magnet in all the makes? I absolutely have, Sarah. I thought about that um, later in season one, I had that idea. I was like, oh my gosh, I should include magnets in these kits. 
but the kits were already in, like produced, and so I couldn't I couldn't add them to the kit. But I really, really, really want to do a version of these whales where we have little magnets in the front and we make a little fishing pole, and then there's a like a nice little fishing game. Um, uh, I did answer your question, Samantha. I am not tired. <laughs> I'm pretty awake. Um, I just had a coffee, so I'm doing great. Um, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so beluga, uh, belugas are your favorite kind of whale, Michelle. I love that. That's adorable. Belugas are a great whale. I think my favorite kind of whale are one of the whales that we'll be looking at in a second. The next one that I wanted to show is our narwhal. Very simple addition to the classic whale pattern to create a narwhal. We'll be learning how to use pipe cleaners and yarn to create little horns on your whales. So this will be coming out in a few weeks as well. Um, by the way, the only reason they're coming out a few weeks is because every one of these is gonna have a full length video tutorial that I have to make. So I'm putting a lot of effort into how each of these patterns are produced so that it is very, um, uh, very friendly for whether you know how to crochet or not. I just wanted to make it so wherever you wanted to start in this season, you can start there. So you didn't have to start with the beginner whale. You could just do jump into the narwhal or jump into the beluga. So I'm putting a lot of effort into the design of the pattern. So that's why they're coming out the way they are. So just heads up about that. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying, it, it's taken me a little longer. So I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, any shark, Merm asks any shark patterns this is a secret, but yes, we do have a plan for a shark pattern. Of course I've got plans for a shark pattern. Come on, you think we do under the sea and not do sharks? <laughs> but the next whale that we're gonna be making is our killer whale. And this pattern's way cool because we're gonna be learning how to use color changes in our brand new color change chart to create little spots on our whale. So this one, is meant so that you can learn how to use color changes uh, effectively in your amigurumi. And obviously we learn how to use, make an extra fin as well. So there's our killer whale or our orca. And then the last one we're gonna be doing for our porpoises are is going to be our dolphin. And shout out to Drewby Zoo and, uh, and Sir Pearl Gray, who's, who both have patterns coming out in this season. Uh, but they gave me some really good feedback for this, so thank you for your feedback. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be our next one that we'll be making is our little dolphin. Uh, and I think I'm gonna be making a pink version of the dolphin. But the idea with these dolphin is we are using increasing a little bit to make the head shape slightly different. We'll also be making a different fin, but we're also gonna learn a brand new stitch being the bobble stitch to add a little nose to your dolphin. So yeah, it's kind of cool. We'll also learn how to sew things on differently so that the fins are sewn on a little bit different. So that's the idea with all of our first patterns for a seasonal crochet kit. Now, I know, like, look, we already, we have five already out. This is only the first project for our seasonal crochet kits. Even though it makes four or five different whales, this is only the first one. There are, okay, so there are six, but really there are eight. I have two surprise patterns that now I'm ruining that are the surprise that are also coming out. So this kit is huge. We're making a lot of different projects, but this is just the first one that we're gonna be looking at this month. Um, so how these seasonal crochet kits work, by the way, is that half of the patterns in the season are coming out during the season. So these whales are, are, are an example of our first pattern that's coming out with the patterns coming out in the season itself. And we're gonna crochet one of these whales in just a second, by the way, once I show all the other little projects we're gonna be making. So hold tight. Um, uh, and all these patterns are available with a membership as well. Yeah, so if you don't want to, if you don't have the money to get a seasonal crochet kit, no worries, I totally understand. These are also gonna be available with a club crochet membership, another great way to support the channel. Um, but yeah, these are our first projects for this seasonal crochet kit. Our next project is actually a project that's already available in the library. Half of the projects when you get your seasonal crochet kit will be projects that are already available to crochet. You don't have to wait at all. Whereas the other half of them will be coming out during the seasonal crochet kit. So the whales are a great example of that. That's our first one. Adding the whale, blue whale this week, next week, beluga, blah, blah, blah. You get the gist. The next one though is already available and that's going to be 
our adorable seahorse pattern, which, oh my God, I love this pattern. I loved coming back to it and looking at it and really like going, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about this one, how I made it. So this is going to be the next project in the season. We are gonna be crocheting one of these in a live stream this season, this month. So every month we're going to be making, or every week we'll be making another project from the library. And in a couple of weeks, we're gonna be making our seahorse for the kit. Um, so keep a lookout then. But yeah, this is our next project here. I love this one. It's it's a little, it's not advanced. I would say this was like a medium level difficulty. Um, but once you've made your whales, I think you probably can manage a seahorse. Um, but yeah, I love this seahorse pattern. So I'm glad we're gonna be taking a look back at it. Uh, we'll also be going back and kind of fixing up older the older patterns as well to kind of add new pictures, maybe a new video. It depends on how the video works. Um, or if I like the old video or not, basically. Um, Crazy Llama asks, are these live streams rewatchable? They absolutely are. You can always rewatch our live streams. Um, how long does it take to get the kit? The kit should get there in just a few days after you order it. Uh, probably, especially if you're domestic. If you're, if you're international, it might take a week or two to get there. But if you're within the United States, it should only take a few days. Um, they get shipped out right away once you order it. So I have it kind of different than our old monthly kits. These, these ones you can get when you order it. Okay, next project that's already out. Again, there are additional projects that are going to be coming out in the season that I'm not going to be showing you today. But the ones that you can already do are... Let's see, which one was it? That one? Oh, this one. Yes, yes. Okay, so this season... We're starting to do collaboration patterns. Um, I, this is something I really wanted to do more in season one, but I just didn't get the opportunity because it was the first season. But in these additional seasons, we're going to be doing collaboration patterns where other artists are going to have a featured pattern in the kit. And this kit is very special because not only do we have one featured artist, but we have two. And one of our featured artists actually has two projects coming out for this kit. The first one is one that you've probably seen before, Angie the Anglerfish. This is gonna be our more advanced pattern for this kit because it does have a pretty decent amount of sewing together, but it's really fun to make, obviously. Like, it, I mean, like, have you ever seen a crochet like this? I haven't. This pattern is originally from Sir Pearl Gray. They are the artists that made it. We made this a few years ago, but we're gonna be taking another look at it. And as a bonus, uh, Sir Pearl Grey has an additional pattern coming out in this season that is going to be a mystery until um, next month. So in August, we're going to be releasing his second pattern for this kit. Uh, but I love this anglerfish. And this is what I was saying. Save your yellow yarn for your tip of your angler, anglerfish and make your anglerfish before you use the rest of your yellow. Um, you will have another pattern that you'll be able to make with your yellow yarn. Um, okay, so there is our next project, our little angler fish here, which I just absolutely love. It's crazy to me that he was able to make something as scary as an angler fish as adorable as it is. I mean, look at how cute that is. It's so cute. Okay, next one, and I think this will be... This will be the last project that I'm going to show you today because this will be our um, halfway point for our projects. The last one I wanted to show you today is our, um, this is one of my favorite projects actually that I've designed before. Uh, and it's actually two projects for the last one that I wanted to show you. Much like how the whale is four or five different projects in one, this one is two in one. The first one is a very simple octopus. This is actually a beginner pattern. It's very easy um, with additions to it to make it a little bit more difficult if you're a more advanced crocheter. So we'll be think adding things like our little mouth and our eyes. And what's so cool about this octopus is that it's made entirely with no sewing at all. You make it just from the top to the bottom all in one piece. I'm very proud of this design. I think it's very cool. Uh, so I hope you guys like it. We'll obviously be adding a few hats and stuff to our octopi uh, when we make them on the live streams. So keep an eye out for that and let me know if you have any uh, addition, additional um, hats and stuff to add to it. Uh, I'm very interested in that. And as, our, as like a little bonus, instead of making the octopus, if you're a more advanced crocheter and you wanna kind of push yourself, try something different or just make it in addition to your octopus is a squid. 
I, okay, so where I love this octopus pattern, I adore this squid pattern. And because this squid pattern is just like this octopus is made with no sewing at all. Uh, which, I mean, if you've been crocheting for a while, you can, like, look at this. The, how does, how, I would be like, oh yeah, that's, no way, like, this is sewn on or, or that's sewn on. Nope. All made in one piece, no sewing at all, just made from the top to the bottom, and you're done. I love this pattern. I think it's so cool. I'm very, very proud of it, and I hope you guys like it. So these are the last two projects that I am uh, going to show you today, but are definitely the, not the last project for the Seasonal Crochet Kit, because we're going to be adding a whole bunch of additional projects to this kit. Um, a few of which you might have actually already seen if you've seen the thumbnail for the kit. So if you want to cheat and see some of the early, the projects a little early, just go to clubcrochet.com slash under the sea and you'll see them in the header if you look really close. But there's a bunch more that are not in the header as well. So a lot of mystery patterns this season. I'm very, very excited. And yeah, I'm excited to get started in actually crocheting. Um... Yeah, the other, I have four more in this box here that are already crocheted, but I'm not going to show you them yet. You'll see them later. And I think they're way cool. So, yeah. So let's go ahead. We'll put these guys to in the background for right now. And we're going to crochet. We're going to do a little preview crochet for our kit and make our whale. We're going to make our very simple our complete beginner whale today um just because i gotta crochet a little bit in a live stream you know the main point of this see uh, this stream was to show off the kit and answer any questions if anybody was asking um but i obviously wanted to crochet as well so we're going to be crocheting today a little whale um but feel free to ask me any questions you might have in the chat i am here and reading one question is Helena a Helena asks, can you buy the yarn individually? Not yet, but I do have plans for that to come out this season. I'm going to start releasing color packs for the yarn so you can buy the yarn in, in little packs of color. So look out for that. Um, I think the first one should be out in just a few weeks. I have a, uh, one more thing that I need to get before I start putting them into boxes. Um, I want basically a little card that comes with a like a little bit of a membership so that even when you buy your yarn, you also get a membership for the site so you can crochet with it. Um, that's kind of what I've been thinking. So yeah, that is coming soon though. Uh, so thank you for asking. Um, let's go ahead and grab our yarn that I need, by the way. We're gonna need this color and our cyan, which is in the other room. You know what? We're making a pink whale instead. We're gonna make a pink whale because I don't wanna go into the other room to get the yarn because I'm a lazy bones. So we're gonna be making a pink whale instead today. <laughs> um, question from Oodles and Caboodles of Crafts. Uh, really quick before I answer your question, I need to grab my crochet hook. I'm getting distracted. Um, Oodles and Caboodles of Crafts asks, uh, um, Will the individual patterns be put into the Club Crochet for members? Yes. If you have a membership on the website, you will have access to all of the patterns that we're going to be making in the season. So don't worry about that. If you don't want to get a kit and you just want to get a seasonal or you just want to get a membership, it's still a great way to support the channel and you will get access to all the patterns that we were looking at today um, with a membership as well. Um, Sal the Seahorse is so cute. Thank you, Oodles. Um, okay, have I played the Pikmin 4 demo yet? Heck yes, I have, Julie. In fact, we have a little crew in here that plays uh, Pikmin Bloom, and I don't know if the crew saw, but I have a cute little outfit that I got for completing the Pikmin 4 demo, um, but that is completely beside the point. I really like Pikmin. Okay. <laughs> um, you just got the crochet pin. How long will it take to come to Alaska? It should only take a few days, especially if you just got the pin, uh, because it's so small and it goes comes in a little package. So it should come pretty quick. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye, uh, keep a lookout. It should be there in just a few days. Um, can we teach the whale to jump out of its tail? We can try, but whales are notoriously 
These whales notoriously don't listen. Just like you, Jimbo. Yeah, okay. Do you want to say anything else? No? Okay. Jimbo is at my feet and being adorable, but also very distracting. Okay, so we're going to be making a whale now. Again, if you want to find the whale pattern, the, probably the easiest way is just to go to um, uh, the link in the description, clubcrochet.com slash under the sea. You can find it right here. Or you can just go to clubcrochet.com slash whale, uh, and it'll take you to that pattern as well. As whale. <laughs> so funny. Um, Cooper also put a link in the description. Uh, thank you for doing that, Cooper. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our little mini whale. And I'll pull up the pattern real quick. Yes. Oh, great question. Thank you so much for asking that con constant crochet. I meant to talk about that and it's really a thank you so much. So constant crochet asks, um, oh, I don't know why I'm making a magic loop. We don't need to start with the magic loop. Um, constant crochet asks, even though it's your pattern, can I sell the uh, can I sell items made from the pattern at a market or SMTH? Small market something something? I don't know what SMTH means. But the answer to the question is uh, an astounding yes. You absolutely can. You can sell any of your p finished projects by using that you made using a club crochet pattern uh, if you'd like to. It's actually... A pretty good idea especially with these because you're gonna make so many honestly you you can make money from these kits I'm, I'm not gonna lie like if you wanted to make all the projects from this pattern and then sell them individually for like I mean these could easily sell for 20 maybe 30 maybe 40 depends on how long it took you but um, yeah you could you definitely could sell them um, so yes thank you for asking and uh, you absolutely can I appreciate you. Oh, SMTH means something. <laughs> I'm such a lame-o. <laughs> uh, will I give Jack Gurgle the $5 from your from his biggest fan from Denmark? Absolutely. Absolutely. I would happily. Um, okay. We're I'm gonna start by making our fins. What I did in this pattern, by the way, is I added a lot of, um, hmm. that's weird. I added a lot of additional, um, oh, that's why it won't do it. Got it. I'm not logged in. A lot of, a lot of places in this pattern where you can, um, hold on. There we go. Where you can add like more advanced parts to your crochet learn some new things that you maybe not didn't know ahead of time stuff like that um so one of the things for this pattern is the fins are going to be made um you can make them like in two different ways and i show you a few different ways you can make it but uh yeah i just wanted to talk about that i i've been trying to put a lot of effort into really helping um crocheters advance their their um skills uh, within these kits, so I really hope that's coming um, That's coming through and that you guys are also enjoying it that way, uh, but yeah, let me know Oh, yeah, that's the only thing uh, if you do sell your projects with um, uh, If you do sell your Projects that you made with our patterns the only question I ask is that you um, sell or you add in the description or if anybody asks where the pattern comes from. Okay. Oodles and caboodles, thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. Oh, dude, Helana, thank you so much. Yes, I do put a lot of effort into the website uh, and into really everything. So I'm really glad you saw that. I, I'm i really trying to be putting... Um, effort into like the production level on the website uh by the way those pages under the sea page and stuff those are made by me um all the pictures are taken by me all the patterns and the videos are done by me it's all me so yeah uh but shout out 
as well to Jimmy and Megan who do help uh, add certain stuff to the website, like adding patterns to the website or building, fixing things if they break, stuff like that. So shout out to them. Um, okay, I've already made my fins actually. This pattern's really quick to make, so we're, we're ahead of schedule here. I do the video tutorial really, really slowly though. So the video tutorial is like an hour and a half because you know, I wanted to make sure that if you didn't know how to crochet, you could still make it. So yeah, the first video is pretty long. Um, thank you, Samantha. Uh, Moxie, you absolutely can be my friend on Pikmin. Uh, if you'd like to add, uh, join our little crew, um, just email me. You can email me at uh, louis at clubcrochet.com and I'll send over my Pikmin friend code. Okay, what am I making now? I made my fins. I need to make the, ah, the tail. Of course, of course, I'm gonna make the tail. One, two, three. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it did take a long time to build to build this website out. We've we've gone through a lot of iterations, but I'm really proud of where it is. Uh, I do think there's a few things that I need to fix about the website, but um, for the most part, I think it's pretty good. Oh, dude, thank you, Constant Crochet. So Constant Crochet says that they saw the website and they love how the uh, their, the website is design and the check bar boxes make it so much easier. You haven't ever seen a crochet website or blog as organized as yours. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. I really do put a lot of effort into that. So that really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. Um, I also am really proud of it. Uh, and yeah, I, I use it literally every single day. I use my own website because I forget my patterns all the time. So um, yeah, I agree. I think it's it's very, very well put together. Hi, buddy. You gonna go in your bed? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I just need five. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I do put a lot of thought into like things that I could add or take away from the website to make it um, more accessible. So if there's anything that you ever have an idea like, oh, you should do this, you should do that. I'm all ears. I'm always open to uh, making the website better for crocheters. So yeah, any any feedback is definitely well, de uh, well deserved. Or you know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. Sorry, Jimbo was trying to eat the cords that keep the live stream running. Uh, what is my favorite crochet project? I don't know, probably Stitched. Probably Stitch was my favorite crochet project. Hold on, we got a Jimbo. <laughs> well, too bad. Jimbo's like, no! Hi, buddy. Do you wanna say hi to the chat? No? Now you're camera shy? What's going on? You were, you were screaming, you're yelling, you're jumping on things. You want to go in the light box? No, you can't go in the light box. Okay, buddy. No more. Sorry, buddy. That's my own fault, but I still blame him. I still blame him, even though it's my own fault. <laughs> He's on timeout. We'll let him back in a little bit though. Good question, Constant Crochet. I love, you're, you're on fire with your questions. Um, Constant Crochet asks, um, what inspired you to make small amigurumi crochet pieces rather than large plushies or clothing? I have a short attention span, very short. Uh, and I, want to sit down, finish a crocheted project in one fell swoop, and then move on. So that is really the answer, is that I really like making things quickly. Uh, and yeah, I also really like just tiny things. Like I just, I'm a tiny person. Uh, so I, I don't know, I like tiny crocheted things and I think they're cool. Um, oh, okay, thanks for joining Tegan, I'll see you next week. Um, Jimbo bringing the chaos as usual. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's really the answers. I really like making t just, I just like tiny 
stuff. I think it's cool. I think the idea of like tiny worlds is really cool. One of the reasons why I really like Pikmin is because I really like just, I like stuff, miniature stuff. I think it's cute. And I just like cute stuff. I remember in high school, I like had that realization that like, you know, I, I was, I just, I just had that realization in high school that I really liked cute things. I liked little cute, adorable stuff. And like everybody likes cute things, but as like a, I don't know, a, a straight guy in high school, it's not really normal. I, I don't know if normal is the right word, but it's not really like, it's not, it, especially when I went to high school, it wasn't like cool to like adorable little cute things, but I didn't really care. I just liked cute little adorable things. So I wanted to make them and yeah, I don't know. That's, I guess that's why I kind of went a little bit <laughs> down the rabbit hole with that question, but good question nonetheless. And yeah, I just like making little stuff. It's also fun. I think one of the other reasons actually I like little stuff is because it's really fun. It gives me a big challenge when it comes to designing things because you only have so many stitches to work with. And so you have to put as much design as possible into each and every individual stitch. So it's kind of a fun challenge for me now to design things uh, in tiny things, uh, especially because Subversive, thank you, Hannah. That's the word. I'll, that that's a great word. Um, oh my God, Zoe, they're ugly as sin. The the pigeons have grown. I love that, Zoe. I love that. <laughs> that's so cool. I love the. I keep, get more pictures. I want to see more pictures. Um, have I tried mosaic crochet before? Uh, I have done a little bit, but not very much. Um, it is something I'd like to get into eventually. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. Heck yes. No, yes, Constant Crochet. You definitely did hear Mario Kart music in the background. Um, all these live streams, usually I put in uh, video game music in the background because I love video game music. And I can do whatever I want. Even if I get a cease and desist, which... I do sometimes. I get copyright checks for playing video game music in the background, but you know what? I like it, so I don't care. Sometimes I change it, do lo-fi music. Depends on my mood of the day. But you definitely did hear Mario Kart music. Um, okay. We're just crocheting on. Oh yeah, someone had a question earlier that I'm... Do I have... Do, do I have Merchant? I don't really know what that means, Samantha. Which of your patterns would you like to make into a pillow or cushion? Um, let's see. Which of my patterns would I like to make into a pillow or cushion? So, let's see. What would I make into a pillow or cushion? You know what? I'll tell you what. One of the things that I've always wanted to do is take my... This one my hobgoblin pattern, which is my, like, just a giant goblin, and crochet it with blanket yarn or something to make, like, a gigantic pillow version of it. Uh, that's one thing I've always wanted to do is turn a, these into a pillow. So there's one. Um, yeah. Ooh, Novitskine wants me to do a speed round of crochet. Okay, sure. I'll do, I'll do this round of speed crochet. Ready? Um, how do we do this timed? Okay, I'm gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go as fast as we can for Shane this round and see what happens. And hopefully I won't goof it up too bad. Four. Let's see how quick we can go. Ah. Oops. One, two, three, four. Got it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm on. I think I might have messed up the round, actually. Two. Yeah, I did. Wait. Hold on. I messed up. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five. Inch grease. One, two, three, four. Oh. 
Man, what a bummer. I totally messed that round up. And then an increase here. But I'll go quick. I'll go quick. I'll catch up. Back up to myself. I'm racing a ghost version of my crochet. Mario Kart reference. Boom. And boom. Done. How long was that? Oh, about a minute. About a minute. I could go. I could do it quicker. Their poop on the nest is so cute. That's I <laughs> love that. Okay, let's do it again. I think I can go even quicker this time. Here we go. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, because this round is all just single crochets. So I think if I just keep going around, I should be fine. The tension's obviously going to be a little weird, but it should be relatively easy to crochet this. Oh my gosh, by the way, there's a new pattern in this kit that I haven't showed you yet that is so fast to crochet. I can make it in less than 10 minutes without fail. I'm like really, really proud of it. So keep a lookout for that. Ooh, almost done. This is 21 stitches. So 21 stitches took me and time. Okay, 40, 43 seconds is how long that that was. Okay, so that was round, what round was that? Five. Yeah, I'm really proud of these new, these new patterns that I'm not gonna share. You'll see a bunch of the new patterns next week though. Is it just the one increase, right? Yeah. Sorry. Sometimes when I crochet really quick like that, I do lose track of where I was at in my pattern. Two seconds per stitch. That's not bad. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good speed. Maybe, Hannah. Maybe. I don't know. There might be. Um, yeah, like I said, there are going to be um, two uh, collaboration patterns coming out this uh, season. Uh, one new one by Sir Paul Gray, as well as the one in the background by Sir Paul Gray. But also another collaboration pattern by Drooby Zoo who's done patterns with us in the past. He did the um, manatee pattern and um, the giant strawberry pattern. Uh, so he has got a new collaboration pattern in this season, as well as the next four seasons. So we're gonna be doing four seasons of collaborations with both of them, which is pretty exciting. All right, coming to the end of this round. Oh, hey, by the way, like this video down below if you haven't already. Um, it is a great way to support this channel, but you know the deal, yo. If this video gets 150 likes, I'll do a giveaway next live stream, uh, and we'll give away one of the new pins from this new season. Okay, I believe that's the end of that round. And I also believe that I'm on track, but I'm not totally sure. So we need to change colors here. Yes, crocheting your allergies. My allergies are killing me. Actually, Jimbo's allergies are killing him right now. He has been sneezing so much recently. I feel so bad for him. Uh, Jimbo has cat herpes. I know it's gross. Most, like a lot of cats do. I think it's something like a third of every cat has cat herpes or something ridiculous like that. Um, and it's not really dangerous for him, except for the fact that he gets a lot of boogers. He's very boogery because of that. And whenever it's like, it's a dry or there's a lot of, um, you know, pollen and stuff in the air, uh, he gets really sneezy and it's really gross, but it's also kind of adorable. And uh, yeah, so Jimbo right now is having some allergy problems as well. I feel ya. Mm. Okay, yes. 
thought I knew my pattern and I was right. I thought I knew my pattern and I was right. This pattern is exactly the same, by the way, as when I designed it in high school. Which is kind of crazy that I, this is like, I had been crocheting for probably maybe a month when I designed this pattern. And I didn't use any patterns when I first started. Uh, when I first started crocheting, I just started crocheting. Um, I think I made, I actually think, actually I think the first thing I made was with a pattern. It was like an octopus where you made like tubes. You made eight tubes and then like one big tube and then you sewed everything together. And then once I got that, I pretty much understood, like I, I got the gist of how crocheting worked and I just started to like make stuff up after that. And uh, this is one of them. I actually made up during this pattern. I'm pretty pretty sure I made up the half double crochet because I've never I had never made it before and I never learned it. So I just like was like, what happens if you yarn over and then pull through and then pull through? Wouldn't that make it taller? And then it turned out it was the half double crochet. I just didn't know it had a name yet. Oh yeah, constant crochet. I yeah, I pretty much never use a stitch marker. Also, I use them in my video tutorials, um, but when I'm doing my just regular crochet, yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't use stitch markers. I kind of just go for it. Um, how I do it, by the way, if you really want to know how I crochet without stitch markers, is I just look at where my increases are to uh, keep track of where I'm at in my pattern. So I'll often just be like, okay. There's, there's my last increase right here. So that means that I must be in a new round now. And I, yeah, I just, that's how I do it basically. One, two, three, four, and five. Then an invisible decrease. Two. and five, and then our invisible decrease. Okay, let's add all of our little pieces. Uh, cool thing about this, I do have a darning needle here. I could use my darning needle. I can also not use my darning needle, which is kind of dope, is that you can make this without using your darning needle. You probably still wanna use your darning needle, especially when you're like sewing it closed, but you totally can do it without it. All you need to use is, you, uh, all you need to do is use your crochet hook to pull the pieces of the crochet through the stitches instead. And it kind of just saves you a little bit of effort. So that's what we'll, we'll be doing real quick. And then just pull these tight. Boop. And boop. Double knot them. Oh, so I'm not a crochet wizard. I would say that I, I am as close to a crocheted wizard as I could be without revealing my real true magic powers. I mean, without having true magic powers. I don't have any pad magic powers. Do, 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 um, uh, um, I don't have, I, I don't have magic powers. So I don't know where you got that idea because I don't have them. Pro I, prob I probably don't have magic powers, so yeah. <laughs> Lene, uh, you just got the kit. Thank you so much. Uh, but you couldn't get the pattern. Will the kit help me get the patterns? Yes, Lene, you should have received an email with your kit, which includes your membership uh, um, code. What you wanna do is you wanna create an account on the website and then use your membership code to activate your membership on your website, on the website, which will give you access to the entire site. In addition to that, when the kit comes to your website, I mean, to your door, it'll come with a little card. Actually, let me show you the last card. So you can kind of see. I'm gonna cover up the bottom part of this so you can't steal the patterns, but it'll come with a card like this and it'll have a QR code and a URL at the bottom of it. That's where you can go to find your patterns as well. Um, this will come with the kit. So you'll always have access to the patterns that are included in this kit, but you'll also have access to the patterns that are not included in this kit with your membership. So if you want to get a membership instead, you totally can, uh, and you'll have access to the pattern as well. Um, okay, so the next one, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what it is, it's 10 away. 
I always forget where this next one is. One, two, three. Four. Right here. Pretty sure that's right. I love this. Anybody know what this song is from? The hook is a magic wand. I don't know what you're talking about, Zoe. I don't know what you mean. This hook is definitely not a magic wand. Are you trying to get me killed? Are you trying to get me killed by the council? Dude, chill. Can't go around telling everybody that I have magic powers. I'm gonna get in trouble. I don't have any magic powers at all. And no one knows about my magical, I mean, no, I don't have magical abilities, even a little bit. Dude, chill. You gotta be chill. Okay, I'm not 100% sold that this is where I'm supposed to sew this on because I wasn't paying attention. One, two, and then one, two, three, four, and then boom. Yeah, see, I think this is one stitch too far. It looks like it's too far away. Pretty, I'm actually pretty sure it is. Let me look at this one again, because I'm too lazy to go to my pattern. <laughs> one, two, three, five, six, and then 10, yeah. Which will be. Oh yeah, okay. Well, all right. I'll trust, I'll trust. You hope I don't play poker? What? Why? I'm good, I'm a good, I can poker. Poker? I hardly know her. <laughs> That's a joke from my friend Nicole, who says that all the time. Oh my gosh, Twiz, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be careful with cotton. I mean, you don't have to be careful with cotton yarn. You just have to be careful with like Walmart yarn. Walmart yarn is going to argue with you. <laughs> that's the that's the kindest way I can say it. You get what you get, kinda, when it comes to Walmart yarn. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Unless you wanna. Then you can. One, two, three, right here. And then I'll come out right here. This song's fun. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of fun. I just want to pull it enough for that not to get pulled in. Round and out of the way. Sorry, I don't know if I was in camera or not, but if I wasn't, I apologize for my transgressions. Um, I think we want to go over just like that. Yes, so this goes around, pull it in. Okay. Pull everything tight. Again, love this yarn because I can pull it as tight as I want and I don't have to stress about it breaking the yarn, which is definitely can be a problem with um, some cotton yarns. Not naming names, but some cotton yarns out there. Okay, that looks pretty good. We got our whale fins and stuff stone on. I should say attached because I didn't really sew it on. Oh, thank you, Constant Crochet. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you next Thursday. We'll be doing a, uh, we'll be crocheting a few more whales next Thursday. And we're going to do it more of like the community will be able to, to vote on stuff, including a name and we'll add some hats to it and stuff like that. So yeah, hope, hope to see you there. Um, okay, we need six millimeter eyes. I actually have right here. Sorry, it's a new bag. I haven't opened it yet. 
What are you calling a bag? Wow. This is really taped up. Oh my god. This tape smells like frog farts. Yeah, this is this is frog fart tape. You know what I mean? Anybody know what I mean when I say frog fart tape? There's like certain tape out there that just like it stinks like a frog's fart. He's nasty. All right, there's some eyes. And the backs of the eyes. Oh, right, I want those too. There we go. Okay, so the eyes go, I think up right here. And then, right here, I think. Does that look good? I did one, two, three, four, five stitches away. One, two, three, four, five. That would be right here, actually. Let's go. Try moving this one out. No, that feels wrong. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, that is right. Yeah, that is right. Yeah, but have you ever smelled a frog fart? I mean, yeah. How do you think I make my my potions? What do you what do you use for potion filler? Do you not use frog fart? Oh, let me guess. You use you use goo from a newt eye, don't you? Man, you need to learn your brews. I mean, I don't know magic though. I'm not a wizard. Um, sometimes following the pattern makes you more confused. Doing pattern-free mini picklets tonight. Oh, fun. Yeah, I get that. I totally get that. Um, okay, let's finish up our whale. Whale, whale, whale. Water, we got her. Okay. One. And then visible decrease. These next rounds are easy, squeezy, lemon peasy. And now I'm going to have a whole nother whale. Got so many whales i'm actually gonna start hiding these i think around my neighborhood since i have like so many extras i really like hiding stuff around my neighborhood for kids to find just because i think it's adorable and i have so much crochet anyhow so i might i might go hide one of these whales around my neighborhood today on my walk you've heard a cat fart i've actually never heard my cats fart i don't know I don't know why. I feel like they, they, Jimbo should be farting like all the time, right? But I never hear it. I always want to hear it. Thank you for all those little hearts, whoever's pressing the little heart button. I appreciate that. I can see it. I seize it. <laughs> You're really clicking away. <laughs> Okay, we need some stuffing now. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh. You know, that's pigeons for you. That is pigeons for you. Except not really, because pigeons are government spies. And Zoe must be a government agent trying to convince us all that pigeons are not really robots or spies of some kind. We can see through your your facade, Zoe. I think you're so clever. Ooh, yeah, here's pictures of, of these baby pigeons. Those are all made by mid-journey. Those are AI pictures, aren't they? You've been trying to trick us. Welcome back, Samantha. Roberto, no! You've had enough! <laughs> All right, let's sew this closed. And we have a nice short live stream today, which, like I was saying last live stream, 
I do kind of have to start making these streams a little shorter so that I can get all the work done that I have to do for these kits um, because I, I'm I'm realizing that these that I have like an entire day like Thursday ends up being all about the live stream because they end up being so long and by the end of the live stream I'm like exhausted so what I kind of want to start doing in these new uh, in this season is cutting the live stream. I don't want to do less live streams necessarily. I just want to make them a little shorter so that I'm not so exhausted after it. Um, and that, and so I can do a little bit of work. Like I really need to work on that. Uh, I need to finish up the beluga pattern really bad because it comes out next Wednesday. And then I need to record the narwhal pattern uh, really bad as well. So yeah, I've got, I got work to do. So I'm kind of I'm kind of happy that it's a little shorter. Although I do love these streams. Next stream is going to be way fun though because we're going to be doing we're going to be making whales, but we're going to be using the uh, the live stream to help choose things for our whales, like what we want to do for the eyes and how we want to make like what colors we want to use and if we want to add a hat, what kind of hat do we want to use, stuff like that. So so he says that they're definitely a human person. And that does very human things. You enjoy breathing and consuming like every other normal human person. Uh-huh. What what kind of things do you... As a normal human, Zoe, what kind of things do you consume? Do you consume, for example, like us other normal humans? Would you say that you really like enjoying consuming oil and batteries? Because... Us normal humans love oil and batteries, right? Other humans that are not robots? Do How do I know how much stuffing to add? Um, honestly, by just feeling at this point, but really the, the rule of thumb is that you want it so that when you squish it, it comes back out. So it doesn't like squish in and then stay squished in. It like pops back out a little bit. That's usually my rule of thumb. Good question though. Uh, and then, and then, like the other way around, you do not want to overstuff it so that you can't, um, you, so you can see your stuffing through. Don't get to that point. Oh, cool! You consume you consume carbohydrates and proteins just like any other normal human would. <laughs> and it's really funny to read with. That's funny. What's my favorite soda? My favorite soda is uh, is Cactus Cooler. I love Cactus Cooler. Hardcore fan of Cactus Cooler. Okay. And with that, there is our adorable crocheted whale. I will be honest. I think I did understuff it a little bit, Michelle, because I was not thinking about it as much. But it looks pretty good. It's not that understuffed. I mean, that for, for like doing that pretty quick, I mean, that's not too bad. And now we have another little pink whale. How cute is that? Okay, well guys, that's gonna be that. I will be live next week with our photosynthesis crochet kit and we're going to be making our, what are we making next week? Oh yeah, we're making more whales, doy. We're gonna be making our beluga and our uh, blue whale next week with some hats and we're gonna take some suggestions and stuff like that. So make sure to like and subscribe down below. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss it when we come out with new videos. And yeah, I think that's just about it. If you want to get one of our seasonal crochet kits, links in the description. Use the code HOOKED, H-O-O-K-E-D, at checkout, and you'll get free shipping on your kit, by the way. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Anybody else got any questions? You want me to pop that in the bowl? No, no, no. We'll pop other stuff in the bowl that you'll see next week. But actually, I will put this guy in the background though. Let's look at our beautiful tree. I mean, come on, that is so freaking cool. Thank you so much, Dad, if you're still here. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna add this to the rest of our crochet. If you haven't noticed, this corner right here is pretty much all the stuff we've been making throughout the weeks I've been adding right here. So we'll go ahead and put our little pink whale right there with that. Um, and actually, I gotta add one thing there because I haven't. I forgot. We gotta add our our succulent 
that we made a few weeks ago and our our cactus dill which his his adorable dumb little face is right there these guys also have to go over here where they show what we've made and then i'll clean off this part and change it with our under the sea kit um as we go as well oh kidoki artichoke Hopefully it's not too messy. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the seasonal crochet kit this season. Uh, I really just hope you enjoy the season in general. I've obviously put a lot of effort into it, so I really hope you like it. Uh, and yeah, next week, let me know if you have any questions and we'll be crocheting a whale. Let's see, what else? Anything else I'm missing? Oh, that's right. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking and Oh my god, stop. No, you hang up. Oh my god, stop. You hang up. Oh, oh wow, don't. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Jimbo, do you want to say bye? I'll go I'll go grab Jimbo for the cat. Let's see if we can get him to play a little. You don't want it? Okay. Come here. I know. Oh. Go back to your seat. <laughs> we just put him there and he was like, yeah, I like it there. Okay. Pasta la pizza. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.